The long-standing leadership dispute at the University of Lagos between the Vice-Chancellor and Pro-Chancellor came to a head with a purported removal of the Vice-Chancellor by the Governing Council of the institution. But a presidential directive has now ordered both men to steer clear of official duties pending the outcome of findings by a special visitation panel. Senior correspondent Sharon Jasson has timeline of event leading up to the election for Lashade Tolulokwe Ogunshola as acting vice chancellor. To close observers, report of a strange relationship between the vice chancellor and pro chancellor of the University of Lagos were not far fetched. But the public could have noticed when the vice chancellor, Professor Oluwa Tony Oguntikbe, announced the date for the 51st convocation ceremony, which the pro chancellor cancelled. What followed was a protest by the institution's chapter of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, who marched in protests and called for the removal of the chairman of the institution's governing council, Wali Babalakin. Months later, an emergency meeting convened by the pro-chancellor to pass the university's 2020 budget did not hold at the council chamber on the university grounds, but in Abuja. Registrar of the University, Oladejo Aziz, announced the sack of Professor Ogundikbe and the appointment of Professor Theophilos Shoyombo as acting vice chancellor for the institution on the 13th of August, 2020. But within hours of the announcement of his removal, the vice chancellor, Professor Ogundikbe, expressed dissatisfaction and termed his removal illegal. With that, tension began to grow. The Senate of the University of Lagos passed. A vote of confidence on the embattled vice chancellor and also passed a vote of no confidence on the pro chancellor and chairman of the governing council, Wali Babalaki, for failing to follow due process in the purported removal of the vice chancellor. That an institution governed by a pro chancellor, that's a lawyer, that should pride itself in the rule of law, and we have kangaroo, and for that matter, an alumnus of a faculty of law, the Primus Inter Paris, the flagship of the university, to perpetrate this travesty of justice. It's very sad. A peaceful walk was held to receive Professor Oluwa Tony Ogundikbe by the university upon his arrival on campus a day after his sack. <laughs> Chairman of the Unilag chapter of ASU insists that the act establishing the institution states that a joint committee of the council and the senate must be constituted to investigate any allegations against the vice chancellor and then make recommendations for the person to be given fair airing before an investigative panel on friday the 14th of august while both staff and watchers waited for clarification from the governing council the pro chancellor wali babalakin restated the council's allegations of gross misconduct and misappropriation of funds against the embattled vice chancellor professor Oluwa Toin Ogundikwe. He further claimed that he had the backing of the federal government. The only comment I heard from the Ministry of Education is that whoever has the right to hire has the right to fire, but they should follow due process. However, the Senate met and appointed Professor Folashade Tululokwe Ogunshola as acting vice chancellor. She is a professor of medical microbiology and first female vice chancellor of the institution. Sharon Jason, TVC News Lagos.